over here. Easy. Easy. Hi. Hi, Relinks. <laughs> I wanted to take a moment just pop by and say Happy New Year's. I hope that you've done some reading in 2020 already. <laughs> you know that I have. Oh my gosh. But if you've never been here before, welcome to my channel. I am a high school English teacher and I like to talk about books and reading. So here we go. Hi, Izzy. And I like to pet kitties and I like to drink coffee and I like to eat vegan things. But today I'm not eating anything vegan. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. You're going to watch me pour a book. Size you and cutie. The Institute. You're going to watch me eat something not vegan. Oh, my gosh. Today, I'm really excited to tell you about something, and I don't know if you've ever gone, if you've ever been there, if you've heard of it, but it's called oh, the Los Angeles Public Library, and I had forgotten how amazing libraries are. I, I know, how could it be that I, who love books so much, have forgotten? I think because as you can tell from around me, I like to collect books, and I'm having a problem with having too many books. It's hard to get rid of them. Also, I have a problem with buying too many books, Anyway, I got a notice that my library card was going to expire, so I went to the library to make sure it wouldn't expire, and here is my book haul today from the library. So we're going to go through these. First, I got Electric Arches by Eve L. Ewing, and this is a book of poetry, and I've read about it. I can't remember when I read about it. It's something I've always wanted to read, and it's published by Haymakers, Hay, eh, Hay Market Books, which they publish a lot of poetry books that I always really love. This is actually something I'll probably end up buying. I got... The Backstagers, and this is by um, James Tyrion, and he wrote, he what did he write? The Woods that I read last year. You know, I had volume one and volume two, the yearbook edition that I really loved. Anyway, I've been looking at the comic book store for this forever, and they've never had it. And while I was at the library, believe it or not, the librarian, she was reading this book. And I was like, well, she was flipping through it, and I asked her, I was like, are you reading that? And she's like, yeah, do you want it? And then I said, it's on my Goodreads list, and I had to get out my phone and show her, so she wouldn't just think that I saw her reading it and I wanted to read it, but she gave it to me. And so I took the book out of the hands of a very happy librarian. I feel a little guilty, but I'll return it back. And I gave her some really good book suggestions. Next, I picked up, this was just sitting on a cart, like one of those carts where people return things. And this is called The Bird King. And it's by G. Willow Wilson. And she wrote the, she writes the Miss Marvel comic series, which I adore and I started collecting the single issues right when it first came out. I have been wanting to read this book. It's on my Goodreads list. It just came out in 2019. I just haven't been able to, I haven't had time, but then I saw it at the library. It's serendipitous. I read, I, I said, oh, if I like the first sentence, then I'll check it out. And I read the first sentence and it was absolutely beautiful. I specifically went to the poetry section and I got this by Claude McKay and he wrote from, well, he lived from 1889 to 1948. So there's this big movement on Twitter of teach living poets, read living poets, etc. And that's really important, but it's also important to go back and read the older poets and just know that there's these dialogues, this intertextuality where you can connect this poem to a living author and have amazing discoveries and conversations. Next, I got Faithful and Virtuous Night. This is by Louis Gluck, Louise Gluck, and I've always loved the poetry from Gluck, so I'm really excited to read this. And then the last one, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe when I saw this there, Odes by Sharon Olds, and she is an amazing poetess, so I am super excited to start reading. And I have a new goal for the new year, of course. <laughs> and that is, these books expire, let's see, when do they expire? the 30th. All right. These books expire on January 30th. At that time, I'm going to go back to the library. I think that's probably three weeks. So my goal will be to go to the library every three weeks and just discover something there instead of buying books after book after book. And then I'll bring some of them to class. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't see this, but the camera, my phone is set up on the cat scratcher and that was Ophelia scratching the cat scratcher like she's supposed to. Okay, so today for eating, I just want to show you really quick. I really wouldn't like that. So this is tiramisu and it is not vegan. It is vegetarian and it was made um, by somebody for Rick and myself. So I do have to eat it. And then of course I have my delicious coffee right there. So let me get a spoon so that I can taste this and we'll see. And you know, the thing that's so great about tiramisu is it has espresso right in it. <laughs> mm. It is so good. 
you can make vegan tiramisu and I think that I'm going to look into that. But right now, as I told you, there's espresso in it. I'm going to actually dip it in my coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so good. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you're having a great break and that you've read something that you enjoy so far in 2020. If not, don't worry when you come to class, I'll take care of you. All right, peace, read for life.